Hello, my name is Troy Ledford and I am an application engineer for Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. And today I'm going to walk you through a basic setup of the SEL 735 power quality and revenue meter using the color touchscreen display. The first thing we will need to do is to log into level two. We do this by selecting the access levels folder and selecting the login icon. We then want to log into level two, which is selected here, and by clicking in the field, you can type in your password. In this case, this meter currently has a default password, which SEL recommends changing, which we will be doing further in this video. Next, I'll press the home button to get back to the home screen. Our settings changes will be done in the settings folder. The first setting I would like to change is the port settings, and specifically the port one, which is our ethernet port settings. Here, I will change the IP address of the meter. In this case, the IP address we will use is 192.168.1.62. And click Submit. From here, you'll press the back button, which will then give you the save and not save icons. By clicking the save icon, I will be prompted to either save or discard the settings changes. In this case, I will select yes and save the new IP address. After the meter re enables and turns back on, we will go to our next settings changes which again is in the settings folder. Next, I will set the date and time. In this case, I will again need to log in to level two because the meter has power cycled, which takes you back to level one. After logging in, it will prompt me for the new date. In this case, it is January 25th, 2020. Next, I will set the time. Currently, it is 11 a.m. And click Submit. The new date and time can be seen at the top of the screen. Next, I will change the default password to a complex password. And click Submit. The new password is now saved in the meter. Lastly, I will go into the general settings and change the basic settings for this setup. The first thing I'll do is change the meter identifier. In this case, this is the power quality meter number 50. Next, I'll change the terminal identification. And in this case, it is the SEL feeder number 10. The next step is to change the CT ratio and the PT ratio. In this case, we are using a CT ratio of 300. and a PT ratio of 400. Next, I will change the demand metering settings. And for this application, the demand reading metering, I would like to use thermal demand metering and have a time constant of 15 minutes. Upon hitting the back button, I will then have the save and discard icons, and I would like to save these new settings. It will then ask me, are you sure? And yes, I am sure I would like to save these new settings. That is how easy and intuitive it is to do a basic meter configuration all from the front panel of the color touchscreen display of the SEL 735 
power quality, and revenue meter. Let SEL be your next innovative solution for your metering needs.